live in the flesh on land? That was kind of the big question mark for me. I didn't know if they were struggling to get into the environment. Online, they're sick, man. Joko goes crazy every game. Afro as well. Here, he's doing it on land. You know what I mean? They're getting into the groove now. They looked a lot happier. Body, I mean, he's still a, a goofy character outside of the game. He did have that one whiff round, but other than that, all of the boys are hitting their shots, Davey. So this is the heat you want to see when we get into this matchup. So we'll kick it off. Heat on the CT side in Tropic being your tease for this one. As we do go into the second map in a series of overpass. And Lucky's got the duallys. He's been getting the duallys dropped to him time and time again. Now, this is an interesting position. He goes for divider. A lot of the times you see people playing either pushing short or inside of connector. It is going to be the short push, but it's the USPs. And now exercise, he needs to find this first one. Joko's there. He's the one to land the headshot. They're scaling out into the B site. Pop flash is perfect. And it is going to be the kills going the way of heat right now. And that is it. They clean them up. They find all five. Only one answer back from Lucky. As heat starting it off on the CT side of Entropic's map pick with the pistol round. And not just any pistol round. That was one of the quicker pistol rounds we've seen throughout the course of the RMRs. That was rapid, instant aggression from the CTs. All of the shots land. Only one casualty against body. It's the heat. Starting things off exactly as you'd want to with the first map in the bag and the pistol round in the bag. Again, in Tropic, just going for the eco. These second rounds on the T side, they, re they ne really never go for the forces. The only weapon you see being purchased for in Tropic is that Deagle on Laku. We, we did see him hit some shots in the last game. Can he do it again here? This would have to be a massive hero performance, but no, Body's going to take him out. Dinks from the Glock, but they don't really mind. They have these M4s. Body gets two, and they are just cleaning up the Ecos at this point. I say that. Hello. Elian with one back. The Dink again. Joko, he wants more. And yeah, they're going to throw that... M4 over. I was going to say, they really want to make sure they, yeah. they they recover that that big, silenced, suppressed, strong, beautiful, attractive, sexy weapon. I thought you were talking about Prof for a second. Though. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about Prof. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, we do finally have some closure on the A stream as well. So that was a 16-9 game with Ents getting the victory over Anonimo. Okay. Okay, okay. Good start, friends. I want, whose map pick was it? Let me look. I will investigate. Yeah, go on. You do some research. It was Enzy's pick over the pass. Ooh. So this is a pick for Entropic as well. They went for the triple boost back towards Graffiti. Body was on top of the totem pole, but now he's dead as a door now on the floor. And Lackey, he's going in to hammer home the point that Entropic won a battle back in this game as he finds another frag onto Exercise. Forrester clearing out Connector as well. Does a bit of damage onto Afro. So finally, he starts off around a disadvantage. Joko with the frag on the Forrester. But they have to save. They can't get into this. They're out of money. If they hold on to these guns, Lucky should be able to drop one over to Body or Exercise. But they have to save all three of these. And the money for Entropic isn't there, so they're probably not going to go for the hunt. They're just going to be like, all right, yep, you save yours. We'll save ours. Gentlemen's agreement. It's fine. You see Lucky's Famous? No. It's quite pretty. Is it? Yeah, let's see if he pulls it back out. Take it out. Look at that. Oh, oh he, thanks. thanks Cheers, Lucky. Thank, Thank you, mate. Thanks, man. Yeah. It's a nice one. Mm. It looks Ch even better Ch in the day. Chat like. This is weird. Yeah, he's got our audio, Davey. He's listening to me. Uh-oh. Lucky. <laughs> Lucky, go kill. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that, that, was, that was pretty lit. That actually. was He just really pulls it out timing, and inspects yeah. it for us. Like, oh, thanks, man. Cheers. It's just a different level of production we have here at PGL, Davey. You know, the players have a neural link with the commentators. It's a whole <laughs> thing. It's a whole thing. Someone, someone on Reddit's going to believe that. <laughs> oh, yeah, someone will. Like, this is ridiculous. Why are they giving the players caster audio? <laughs> oh, God. Why you cheat? Hmm? Why? Okay, Jackie, you you are to tell them now to inspect a gun. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Long control, going to be taken. So they're just going to be running their way up. 
flash around a corner as well to clear out inside the toilets. Joko, he's six and zero oh at the minute, Davey, and he could be Whoa. setting himself up for even more. But no, down to the ground he goes as Lackey taps him in the top of the head. Afro's gonna peek out, Ooh. and he'll deal the damage instead. That's the tag. The flesh wall bang coming out as Nickelback's on 34. Oh, he's trying his luck, Davey. He wants to fight. He's bouncing back and forth. His teammates are here, and this is gonna be a scrap on the side. Oh, and that's such a huge kill to get. Can they answer back? Body with two. He's tucked away in the corner, lands the dink onto Crad, and the rotations are here. Exercise is in. Afro still alive towards Bank, and there it is. One man left. He's so low. Crad on 18 HP. Can he make something happen from this? He knows where they are. They know where he is. 30 seconds remaining, and that's the headshot. Exercise swings the fake plant to try to bait Afro. Not gonna work. He's still tucked away. He's gonna go for a second one. This time, Afro scales forward and Crad with the flick finds the kill. Afro drops, and what a massive round from him. Oh, that was so dangerously tight. The defense from the CTs, the re-aggression from Crad, the reaction to jump on top of the box. Man, okay. Both teams coming alive here in the second map in the series. And those are the sort of rounds that Crad just goes the extra mile for in Tropic. I do just want to point out Exercise there in the two versus one. He swings out from the right side of truck and gives Crad the 1v1. Right? I think maybe there was some, it looked like Afro was about to swing through the smoke. Maybe there was some communication. They're like, okay, uh, let's let's peek. And Exercise peeks quickly before Afro even has time to react to the comp. That can happen, it happens to everyone. But unfortunately this time it did cost them the round. It's such an important one because now they're forced onto the eco and they know Lucky was nearby. He's gonna be waiting and Ellie and spots him out, finds the kill. So in Tropic they lose two, but it was just the eco for Heat. And a ton of money on Joko. Wouldn't be surprised to see him drop the op over. Yeah, there it is. Passes the op over to Afro. They are only gonna be able to bring out the one. And Body does buy the kit. So he's the only one that has it. Not a ton of utility for the CTs, just two Molotovs. On a map like Overpass, that's not ideal. I mean, I guess on any map, it's not ideal, really. You kind of need utility no matter what on CT side. Do want those nades, yeah. yeah. There's not really a map where you don't need utility. I'm trying to think. Aim red line. <laughs> that's so true, Idiot. man. That's, <laughs> that's so true, dude. My Are you bad. silly? Yeah. Any surf map. I was going to say maybe surf beginner yeah, too as there well. We go. Yeah. Uh, B Hop Colors, I think. Is that <laughs> one? I can't remember. B Hop Monster Jam, he definitely don't. Ooh, Afro. He's on for the Monster Jam, isn't he? Shot through the smoke, takes out Lackey. Centropic, again, fighting four versus five here on Overpass. <laughs> In my brain. When he got op there, and they were all like lining up those nades, and they were setting up this, you know, this big like triple nade execute thing, and then as soon as he, and they're like counting it down, okay, three, two, one, go, and as soon as they start running forward, he just dies, the nade just drops, and he's just like, I'm dead. <laughs> Round's gone. Ooh, Molotov is going to be dashed out. Tries to burn its way through Lucky. He cascades back up towards the top of toilets. So in Tropic. A little bit of push and pull coming out from here. They're actually just going to be dry walking out through Monster. They drop the bomb back and Elian will lead the charge. Molotov to cover the right hand side of the pillar. Afro's on deck with the AWP as well. They have to hit their shots. Body, he battles against the first. Cradle trade onto Exercise. Two versus three as Elian. He turns body into mince meat. Afro fires off the warning shot from the elevated angle, but the bomb is now down. The T's hitting their shots on the push as well. Elian onto Lucky, takes it down to a 2v2, all on one now. Crad, can he win out another clutch? No, Joko with 11 HP, 9 to 2, will get the defuse and tie up the game three rounds apiece. And I saw a world where Crad wins that one again. Joko was lit, he lands the one bullet. He gets two shots off with his AK before he dies, but only one is able to connect and not to the head. So Joko just barely... Wins out on this one. Yeah, that's just, that's just funny to me. That's just, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That just it just tickled me as he's running forward to throw his nade. Like you know, he had this whole plan for how his round was gonna go. 
He was going to run forward. They were going to nade stack someone in B. They were going to get a kill. Then they were going to rotate through water. You know, he had this whole, he had his, he's had his whole life in, ahead of him. And then there's just a man with a telescope off just right there. Get a shot. That's the guy 40 and Bill. He's got nothing left. Ooh. Okay. Joko just walks into the smoke and gets the kill on Lackey. Dude, I don't know if it was intentional or not. But the man behind him, who ran up and threw the nade, I think it was Afro, he, his nade made the player at the fountain turn because he heard the pin pull and thought it was yeah. going to be a flash. And that was the exact moment that Joko walked through. So I don't know if that's intentional. I don't know if that was planned. But if it was, that's amazing. Kind of OP. Yeah. Oh, man. Afro as well would have shot into Elliot. This looks more like heat. I'm going to be honest. With the way they're kind of flexing, and just giving it into this ra these rounds. This is more like the heat roster we've seen in the past. We've seen an awful lot of them online, and this is way, way better. Afro already with two kills, so he's four to two now. And he's ready for the aggression coming out towards the A site. Double scoped in, so you know he means business. But Body will get the kill onto Crad. And Forrester down in a 1v5, trapped at the toilets. Oh no, Joko's coming in to give him a swirly. There it is. Head in the toilet. Dead. Yeah. Drown. <laughs> <laughs> Mortal Kombat X Counter Strike. Fatality. Oh. And huge for Heat there is all five players staying alive. So now, like, they're slowly starting to build that money. It is just so important on these CT sides when you win these rounds to win them cleanly. Because you could be up six to one, but if you've only had two players surviving every round, as soon as you lose one, you're broke and the score immediately goes six four. You know, yeah. like that that's how quick that can happen. So winning rounds cleanly is just so massive. Counter Strike really is the esport that teaches you the value of money. True. It really does. You know what I mean? Yeah. You learn that poor investments will always come back to bite you in the bottom. And you learn like risk versus reward. You yeah. Know? See, that's what I mean. Counter Strike is the future, mate. Like if you have nine thousand, if you have nine thousand in the bank, right, and you decide to go for double ops, you're you're actually going to spend way more money than if you go for the the, the rifle, right? Mm -hmm. But on the first gun round, you're you're buying down to zero regardless. So you, there's not a risk to go for mm -hmm. double op mm -hmm. on first gun round. You know. It's all there. And you learn. You learn risk versus reward. Honestly, more kids need to play Counter-Strike just to learn about finances. True. They should add a tax system into CSGO, I think. <laughs> what, the end of each, yeah. each quarter? You have to pay yeah. like 15% of okay, your well, Okay, okay, now think about it, right? right? So imagine if you couldn't afford an op on a round. And okay. you're like, okay, look, I just need a $1,500 loan. Yeah. And if you survive the round, you can pay it back with that extra... Oh, <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Lackey's like... You see, in his mind right now, this is, again, the beauty of, of Counter-Strike. He's right. like, hey, the only way that I can deny the money to get my tax rebate is to throw the AWP over the map. Right. So so think about it, right? Go on. Th they'll, they'll take it away from your bonus in the next round. Okay. So instead of getting, let's say, it, let's say you win, instead of getting 3,400, you only get 19. Right. But if you win the round and you keep the AWP, then it's worth it. You know what I mean? So, True, but, yeah. But then if you lose the round, you're screwed because then you have no money for the next one. Yeah. So you're, and, and then if you, and then do you continue to take out loans to keep buying? And then <laughs> the problem is, it gets to a point where the game's 15-14, you're about to win it, but suddenly the game gets paused and the tax man comes yeah. in, grabs one of your players and <laughs> yeah. throws him out onto the street. No, dude, exactly. Like, what if, so like, if at the end of the game you haven't paid back your loans, you, you just don't get to play the last round. Like, yeah. your, your team just has to play 5v4. Or, or four, You're not four getting five. simple back <laughs> until you paid off that debt. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, or your teammates can pay it off for you. Yeah. So if it's simple. <laughs> Why is this Monopoly now? <laughs> what is this? Please, banker, can I borrow some money? And your mum's like, no, I'm not giving you any money for that orb. Stop it. You should have thought about this and bought a Tech Nine, shouldn't you? Uh, I hate Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Anyway. Uh, well, he, he pushed middle. 
You see, I actually was watching, uh, despite the conversation. No, I just mean in our insanity. I thought I'd have to watch the game. I, just, I feel like I live in a weird world whenever we get sucked down like the I know, undertow. Whenever, I know, we just get pulled We come in. up with all these ridiculous concepts. Look, I actually don't think that's that bad. No, like, to be fair, I, look, I, I remember the time in Counter-Strike Source when Valve decided to make it so that gun prices changed dynamically based on if you were buying more or less of a gun. So this isn't that far-fetched. No. That, I mean, that's ridiculous. It was, yeah. Shotguns were really cheap, uh, cheap, but like AKs were just really expensive. At one point, wouldn't something just be worth like 16 k Yeah. Like ops? Well, like, how could I you think there was, there was a soft cap. Okay. But basically, it was like if, if everyone's buying AKs, the price of AKs would dynamically go up, whereas <laughs> weapons that were being underbought a purchase would go down. That's outrageous. Yeah, it was only like that for a little while. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> See? You don't know what I went through in Source, That's mate. true. The pain. The terror. The tax man. You know what would be big, though? Mm. Counter-Strike merchandise. Yeah. Imagine if we I did, like... I have a CSGO mug. No, no, no. But I'm thinking more, like, long-term, right? Okay. So imagine if, if for, like, to get all the family, you know, understanding what Counter-Strike is come Christmas time, yeah. you do, like, a partnership with a toy company. We have like Counter Strike Cluedo. Okay. So imagine you've got like three different oh. boards. That's big from body. Three different boards, right? <laughs> like Dust 2, Cobblestone, Nuke. And you have like different call outs on the map, a couple of different weapons, like a CZ, an AWP, or a knife. Uh -huh. So you're trying to, you know, figure out was it Joko on overpass at toilets with the M4? Did he kill two? See? Right. Counter Strike Cluedo. It's not a bad idea. Dude, I think that could work. I think Valve should hire us. I'm going to be honest. Oh, mate, 100%. We're doing great. So Counter-Strike Cluedo and Attack Spam. The I'm next biggest updates for, tonight. yeah. We'll hit him up. Let's see, you'd have to work that one out. Well, it looks like off the back of the damage that was done, it was his body on bridge with the gun, killing them. He did do that. Yeah, see? And that's what I mean. Your mum would yeah. be like, yeah, you are right. I was body, and uh, I did kill them. And you're like, got your mum. <laughs> knew it. I always knew it. I, I knew you were playing I for always heat. knew body was my mum. Yeah. So Heat here. So Entropic is actually going to take attack again. They are down. Heat is on the CT side of Overpass. And this is Entropic's map pick. We were expecting Entropic to take this one that they were going to win it and we were going to go to Ancient. Yeah. But Heat's up 7-3 to three, and they've built up such good economy that Entropic is going to have to win multiple gun rounds in a row in order to actually break the economy of Heat. So Heat's going to get to keep having chances to adjust, change their strategy. We saw two rounds ago the aggression towards middle where they pushed straight through the playground, got super aggressive on them. And this has been a great half for Heat. And the nades coming in. Chunk Elian down to 36 oh. HP as Exercise wins out on the fight with Forrester. They were almost able to find the opening. Nickelback gets the trade at least. And it is a 4v4. Elian's quite low though. 36 HP on him. Ton of time on the clock. A minute and 20 seconds. And Tropic. Their money's been in such a bad spot throughout this half. It feels like they haven't had a buy in so long. So you have to do something with the weapons you've got here. Because Heat have just got so much confidence. They've been going for all the pushes, all the aggro plays. Joko is just farming this game. Man is 15 to 3. Shows no signs of slowing down. And he's got deep control towards long. Meanwhile, the T's, they're scaling up into the B site. Lucky, he's into a position to do some damage here from behind the barrels. Fires off the warning tap, flash on the close angle. Hark commits to the swing. Afro with another one as Nickelback will go down. And the three T's, they double back on this. They run away. 40 seconds left, they're trying to scurry. And they're running and they're, all gonna, they're trying to make it all the way back to the A site. But they don't have any nades. I wouldn't be surprised if they just save this because they don't have the utility. And Joko, he's hearing everything. So he's calling this to his teammates. You can see the rotations are already coming. Aggression towards Connector from Body as he's walking up the stairs and they're all right in front of him. Is anyone gonna look? No, they're scaling up bathrooms. This should be the first one for free as Body finds the back of Krat. And now they try to go in and the flick up from Elian actually so close to landing, but he's gonna go down. Body with another one. And Heat are just running away with this. Absolutely. This has been such a great half from them. Yeah, no, this is just textbook. Really, really good CT side overpass coming out from Heat. 
Sometimes, this is how it goes as well, Teesside Overpass. We've all been there. We've all been stuck in the mud, feeling like no matter what you do, you can just never get around. And for Heat, they're going to be taking these. You know, at this point, what? This is like six, seven on the spin for them? Yeah. It's been fantastic. Neutropic just have no money again as well, so it is just Tech Nines coming out. They're going to be sprinting up and towards the toilets oh. with them. Joko clothes lines his way through Nickelback. And he's Joko. 6 HP, man. He's Ooh. just showing no mercy. Yeah, he wants it. He's hard committing for these kills. No mercy, as he says, mercy for the eco, and then just runs on out of there. Afro's here to help. Lurk Smoke is going to come out just to deny this information. So Afro's going to have to change his position off the back of it. He's worried about the potential Lurk up. The bomb is heading back over to B, though. The only smoke on Ellie, and they don't have any flashes, so it looks like they're going to go for the boost again to see if they're just going to give up anything for free. The CTs have the three-man stack, though. And now the sound cue's being given away. They're just gonna run out monster. They're running in. They're looking for the initial frags. Lucky's gonna fire off the warning shots on the AK. And Lucky will hit the bomb planted. Ooh, Forrester with a deagle slumps out exercise. Body spams back onto Lucky and it's all down to Forrester. He would have to do something ridiculous, but he could not dive in because he's dead. And Heat are going to pick up their ninth. That was the eco for Entropic. Bomb plant means they're going to have extra money. So again, we should see the op coming out from Elian, the full buy, everything, everything and anything they could ever want. Well, within the game of Counter-Strike, of course. And the big question for me is, what's Entropic going to do to deal with Joko over at A? Because they haven't been able to stop him. Everything he's seventeen and three, right? They just yeah. they have not every time they go to where this guy is, he multifrags. So you almost want to try to avoid him. If you if you don't have a plan to stop him, if you're not able to stop him, it gets to a point where you just have to try to stay away from him, right? And that's what they're doing right now. There's just the one man deep in middle. That's Elliot, and look at this aggression again from Joko. He's pushed up to the fountain, and Lackey's right on the other side. He just threw his nades. He's holding for the aggression. But they have so much info right now. Mate, Joko is just a demon for heat. But there will be a devastating entry in towards the B site this time. Joko. Oh, okay. So he does tiptoe his way back round in towards T's form. Timing. So he has been spotted out by Forrester just as he was clearing out on this. And they're pushing up the ladder through connector as well. Joko sprints back around. He's so worried about there being another player inside oh, a playground. Oh, but he wasn't expecting the face from connector. Yeah, he just goes running back through party. I thought he was going to exit towards long. So for I some reason, just wasn't worried about connector at all. He was from from the minimap. He was staring at playground. So he must have been suspicious that someone was still in there watching long. Mm. But at that point, you had to be aware someone was in con. Yeah, it, it, it's just odd. Rough. Rough one for him. One of the few missed plays we've seen from Joko. Missed flash is going to give Body the kill, but only the one. And there's no one close enough. Afro's rotating in. Bomb being planted towards Truck. Nade going to be dropped right on top of him. As Forrester's down to 55, but it is still the two versus three retake. They don't have the utility, but the bomb plant at Truck makes the post plant harder. Afro towards Bank. He's just going to wait for the smoke to fade. Has the AWP in his hands. Ooh, it's being watched. He's seen a glimpse of Elliot on the AWP. Spam on the AK. The exercise actually is able to control. Tech 9 pulled out. Afro running in. Time ticking away, though. And it's not looking great for him. This should probably be around for Entropic. He switches back to the AWP. But he can't find anything. It's so damn awkward. He hits the head of Elliot. Dives up on the site. Hits the second as well. And causes it to be oh. a costly affair. He survives with 3 HP. He finds both kills and gets away with his AWP towards Long. The bomb plant towards Truck just making that radius just small enough for him to survive. Overall, a good round from Afro. This, this, that was the point in the round where it flipped. When Joko goes down inside a party, 
that's that's pretty much where the round just it's just gonna end up going the way of Entropic. Even though they lost both players, the man inside of the site did play that to absolute perfection, just delaying that time so long. So that even though Afro did get the kills, there was no time left to defuse. Yeah, just made it messy. In the grand scheme of the game though, this is a nine to four split on the score line now. And Afro, he's about to be tested once again. Him and Body frag out at the exact same time as Crad and Lackey are left broken and bruised. They're gonna go for the quick boost up as well on the AWP of Afro. They've seen it, so he can't make a play. And HE's gonna be dashed in. Oh. Lot of damage done there. That's a hefty one. He even ran and jumped right into it. And now what? the spam from Lucky. He gets them both. The aggression, the kills, all going the way of Heat. It is just Elian. He doesn't have the AWP. He has the AK. All of that damage done in the previous round. Afro finding those kills right at the end means Elian couldn't afford the op. And, and, you know, this is looking very good for Heat, right? Obviously, they're about to go up 10 to 4. But I do just want to say this did happen on the last map as well, right? And Tropic yeah. went up to a big lead on CT side. And then as soon as they went over to T side, they couldn't do anything. Now, this is Entropic's map pick. So when they get onto CT side, you could expect that they're... They, obviously, they're going to be able to do exactly what Heat is doing to them. They're going to be able to do that to Heat on their CT side. You would assume so. True. But here's the big difference yeah. in that factor. Joko 70 for four. Yep. He's happy to take big gamble pushes. He's hitting those shots on those gamble pushes. You throw him onto T side and go, Joko, go B, kill two. He probably will. Yeah. Look, it's definitely possible, man. It's definitely possible. Just even with the confidence they're, they're flowing with enough, right? Yeah. Like, that, that, could be, that could be enough to carry them over the finish line and bring them to that game tomorrow. Remember, loser of this one does drop out of the RMR. These are the one and two games. So winner goes on to play tomorrow for their chance to qualify. But loser is out. We are on map two, as you can see on the screen right now. First map went the way of Heat, their map pick of Nuke. Off the back of 11 straight rounds on their CT side, where Entropic couldn't even get a bomb plant. So at the very least, Entropic is consistent in, you know, not doing great on T sides today. Yeah, haven't had much stock on their T side, but this is a change of pace. Problem is, Afro is going to match that tempo. Goes running down towards the bottom, along, hits one, nearly got to fire off onto the second as well. But Nico back will stop it. Joko falls. Okay. So you can see, Entropic have four rounds. Joko and Afro had died four times up till this point. Now they've died five times each. Oh, Based on that map, man. Spotted. Ooh. I could see this being around for Entropic. He's got back into the short pipe. They're going back to B. Yeah, they are, and weird for Exercise is that he just pushed outside of Monster, so he doesn't think there's anybody here. So he's going to be playing outside of the connector, and he's looking the wrong way. They're, they should be able to spot him out if they go for the clear. Oh, he jumps up on the railing just in time. They miss him, but you can see the tease. They know that there's the chance there's someone pushed into water. So they should be clearing this out, but it is just Krad. It's going to be the one versus one. If Exercise wins it, he does. First bullet straight to the head of Krad, and now they know they're going out monster. E Exercise gets traded, and oh, Lucky just can't land the flick. It's a swole on body. you got to go for it last round of the half here. One versus three. He's 16 to eight. Can he put himself on a 20 bomb? we walking up. Straight into the crosshair of Elian. He falls, and the game goes 10 to 5. So a little bit better there at the finish from Entropic. Five rounds away from keeping this as a tight game. And they do go on to the CT side. So all about the pistols now. Yeah, and like we were saying, this is, this is the exact same scoreline we had on the last map. And here, finally, finally, Heat is punished for that aggression. The two-man aggression towards A shouldn't have been as successful as it was. Generally, you need to bring some more people over if you want to be doing stuff like that. But they were able to get away with it for pretty much the entire half with just the two of them. But not on that last round. As we switch sides, Heat goes over onto the T side. Can they close this one out? Can they end this on Entropic's map pick and go 2-0 to move on to fight again tomorrow? 
or will Entropic be bringing us to that map three of Ancient? That's the questions that we're about to have answered. Oh, Forrester, with a tag off the back of the info play towards Monster. Brings him down to 35 HP. And you can see there, too, Heat hesitant to chase up Connector just in case it was a bait play with a man with the dualies hiding in a corner and you just run straight into him. Not what you want. But Body does clear it out. Elian is still here. He has the info. And just this presence that they're showing is forcing Entropic to keep two players towards A, which is exactly what they're going for. There's a minute and 10 seconds on the clock. Joko, he's walking in through Monster Pipe. As he will tuck up on the left. Ooh. Information gathered by the T's. And Forrester fires off the warning shot. Joko takes down Lackey. Forrester, he's being shot in the back and there's nothing he can do about it. Three kills goes the way of Heat. And this is looking terrible for Entropic. You're outnumbered, you're outgunned, you're outpositioned, and the bomb has been planted. Elian sniping down onto Lucky will at least be able to stop him. There's a fair bit of damage on Joko and Afro as well, but you've still got to finish them off. And they're in such good spots now. Pushed up into CT, they're almost impossible to clear as Body immediately lands the headshot onto Krat as he pushes forward. And Joko with his third of the round. That was the question we were asking. It's like, look, Joko, he's been on a heater on CT side. He's playing aggressive. He's taking these fights. He's totally okay with it. And you had said, I feel like, you know, based on how the confidence he has right now and how he's been playing, you can tell Joko, just go out B and kill. Yeah. That's exactly what he did on the pistol round. Just go out B, kill. That's honestly one of those things. T-side overpass on a pistol round. If, you, if you're hyped up, that's what you need, man. Just send him one player, let him entry. You farm the kills. He did it. And now look at him. 11 Ooh. to 5. I'm kind of surprised Entropic has gone for the eco here, just because of how much they're down. We want to try to put the pressure on the economy of the T's as soon as possible. And with the five USPs, you're not going to be able to get the op on Elian next round. Mm -hmm. And if you don't get the op on Elian next round, right? So, so let's just say Heat wins this because they're up against five USPs, so they should win it. They have five rifles. They win this. Entropic buys next. If they lose because they don't have utility or an op or whatever, then you have to eco again. And then by the time Elian's even able to get an op onto your CT side, you, you're down so many at that point. Headshots coming out from Joko and Body. Tap around the corner. Body's only on 6 HP. He still hits the head though. Oh, Joko will fall. But it's all on Elian. He's trying to be sneaky. They know exactly where he is. They'll swing around the corner and Afro will dispatch him. So Body's now on 20 kills. Joko's on 21. Oh, he does have the op. Wow, 47.50. That's lucky. very precise. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's lucky. Incredibly exact, sir. No, that's not lucky. That's Elian. My bad. <laughs> so no change whatsoever for Elian. But can you change the course of this game? Because he, 12 rounds in a bank, one away from the 13th. If Entropic lose this as well, they might be staring defeat in the face. Okay, the aggro play on short early. Body just goes running up. He wanted to try and find the first frag into the round, but he will buckle as Forrester gets that pick. So this actually does change things somewhat. Yeah, it does. Crad gets another one onto exercise. They are clearing out water, but they've already lost two players. And to make that three as Forrester on the, off the boost finds another one. Forrester and Crad are both very low though, so if they creep up into the site and they can find these players, there is still the chance. The nade not able to land on anyone because they've already repositioned. And Entropic making me eat my words here on this force by not only do they, looks like they're going to be in such a good position to win it, but if they win it with keeping and keep five players alive, that is just, ab that's huge. Of course, okay, my bad, sorry. Classic Every time, TV. I know. You've cursed them all, so now only four of them will survive. Well, now only three of them as well. Joko gets two. Sorry, sorry, my fault. Yeah. Every time. You silly boy. Yeah, one day I'll learn my powers. Can't control them yet. You're like an X man. It's a 12 6. Big round for Entropic. They needed to win that. 
If they lost it, the knock-on effect would have been hugely detrimental and he would have been so close to picking this series up. Instead now, they're down to just the pistols. I mean, Tropic might be able to get back into the game here. Start to close the gap somewhat and keep it close. You're on the CT side of overpass as well. So you can inflict that pain that he were putting you through. They're going to wolf back up and they're just walking out towards middle. And with the Deagles, they're just going to see if the CTs give them anything for free. Doesn't look like they're going to at the moment. There is crowd here in Connector. Forrester finds the pick over towards Long. Flash is good, and they're going to push forward. This is just going to be the eco farm. Nickelback and crowd finding all the kills. Nade should finish off exercise. Oh, no, he jumps around the corner, but it doesn't matter. Nickelback pushes with the USP. Finds that final frag. And now in Tropic, see this is, now this is in Tropic. If they can start answering back here on the CT side, it's only a five round difference. Again, they've, they've closed the distance straight back to what it was at the start of the second half. And the full eco from Heat last round, it's still not great for their economy. You see the one Galil being brought out from body. Everyone else pretty much has the full buy. Joko hasn't been able to get all the utility he would want, but overall this is a fine buy. Smoke being deployed towards middle, smoke being deployed towards short. Very standard overpass stuff. As Forrester immediately going for the spam. They're going to walk out. The door's open, though, and they haven't looked at it when Nickelback is going to find one in the back. But if he has just the MP9, it's not a great fight for him. Forrester Ooh. goes aggressive to try to react, and there's a second one on short. Joe goes here, and he does go down to Lackey. The double kill on the short push. And then Tropic... They want to respond to how Heat played against them with their own aggression towards short. Elian scoped in, waiting for the face. Hits the head of Afro. It's all down to exercise. 1v3 of a minute on the clock. The eighth round, dangerously close here for Entropic. And it should be Elian to secure. It will do so. Nice little micro adjustment there. And finishes things off to give the CTs one step closer back to closing this game in their favor. If they can push it to the third map, we will be going to Ancient. Because this is an elimination series. Whoever loses is out of the PGL RMR EUB. And that's going to put Heat onto the save. They're not going to have the money. They have to, they just have to eco. Potentially some pistols, some light armor, maybe some nades. The tack paws came out. They're trying to just figure out exactly what they want to do with it. As in Tropic now, on their, C on their CT side. Remember, this is their map pick. And Nickelback's still just rocking the MP9. He knows they're going to be on Ecos. So he's like, oh, I'll just farm up some more money. Why not? Get the blood pumping, make a bit of money. And for heat. They're going to be running straight into the early Molotovs and nades, dash towards middle. A couple of deagles thrown out for good measure. Good color coordination as well on exercise. He's got the green on green. Ooh. Problem is, there's going to be a lot of red on the ground, as Crad will be able to slay him on the AK. And they drop the smoke as well. Body with a PC-50 just going to spam back through the smoke. It seems like they just want to try their luck, a potentially a bit of a fast play towards the A site. They're being flanked already, though, so Nickelback with the MP9 making mad dollar. And Afro will lose out on that one. So in Tropic, from what was quite a uh, one-sided game here, it's now not too far-fetched that they could tie it back up. Yeah, and this always was the threat, right? As soon as they got onto that CT side, that they were going to be able to just string these rounds together. We haven't really seen, obviously, a ton of gun rounds yet. So we've won four in a row. He did pick up the pistol. If Entropic won the pistol, they'd, they, I mean, they'd probably be in the lead. Actually, they just would be in the lead because, you know, that's how math works. We can actually figure that out. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, okay. It looked like Elliot was actually going to be able to pull that oh. off. But Afro, back on the orb and up to his old tricks. That would have been a hell of a hat trick as well if he found that follow-up shot through the pallet to punish the CT's aggression in this round. Still, big multi-kill for Afro. 18 kills to his name now from those two kills. And the CT defense is down to just Lackey, Forrester, and Crad. 
He's got his crosshair right on his head inside of the smoke as well. He may try to phase this. He has his teammate coming to support. Instead, no, he decides to back off. Body rings out the shot, though, so now they know that they're nearby. Had to wait for the train to go by, to throw the Molotov. He wouldn't want to injure any innocent civilians. As Forrester, he's looking to injure them, though, from on top of the grate. Only gets the one. Body does trade it, and it is just Lackey inside of the site. Where is the rotation? It's over in middle. Lackey's here by himself for a long time. Needs to do everything he can. Try to stay alive and just find one more frag before his teammate can get here. Here it is, and no, he can't land the shot. Lucky wins out on it, as Krad is slowly making his way in the back line from short. Krad, walking up on short, Afro, he's gonna run in to try and get the bomb plant off, taps it to oh. the face, and he rips the head off of him. Clean round from Afro. Massive performance there. And because of the timing of that flank, right? Lackey, he's inside of pit, and because he survived for like 10 seconds, the, 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 the tease of Heat, they're like, okay, if he was going to be rotating through CT, he would have been here helping by then, right? Like, he would have been throwing nades, he would have been fighting us from heaven, he would have been doing something if he was going to come CT. So that means he's probably aggressive towards A, which means he's probably flanking. So that's why that smoke comes out on short, they fake the plant, they just hold for him, they wait for him to come in, and they eventually find the kill. Oh, Forrester getting some damage onto Lucky, but it was just the one tag. As lots of sprays being exchanged through the smokes here in the early round. Looking for the potential openers. Oh, Forrester with a boost. Wow, okay, Joko. Swift shot, though, into the back of the noggy in there onto Krad. So from what looked like a nice lead established for Entropic, oh. this is suddenly a double pick in favor of Heat, as Body also bests Lackey through the smoke. Elian, oh, big tag, but not a kill. Yeah, quick flick there onto Joko, but just tags him through the edge of the connector. So not able to find the kill. And now Joko, he's walked through the smoke. He's walked into the divider. Oh, Elian spotted him. Oh, and it doesn't matter. Joko with the swing, the immediate headshot onto Elian, and Heat there in the sight. Exercise gets Nickelback. The rotation has no time to come in. And Forrester's the last man standing, and he has to save his M4. But what a shot from Joko. Yeah, what a game from Joko overall as well. 25 kills. The man has just been absolutely monstrous. He's so hyped up as well. Screaming. Wanted in Tropic to hear him roaring at the end of that round. The lion for Heat. Whew. He really did bring the claws out here. I just, this shot right here is unreal. Elian spotted him, he knew exactly where he was. He was posted up on the angle. And keep in mind, we're on land too. There's no peeker's advantage. There's no lag compensation. So that shot is so fast. That is ridiculously quick. No, that was sick. And look what he's done. He's left in Tropic now in a pause, trying to piece together the buy with their last pause of the game. Because the money's going to be tight. You've got to do something. You've got to buy back into it. Elian will go for the orb. Glass cannon. He does, have, uh, he does have the cash, so he will actually buy armor. Only 600 left in the bank as well, so money is not going to be great in terms of the utility. Forrester's on the UMP. Mate, you could be fighting back from match point with this, with this buy. Yeah. At least they have the op on Elliot. He hasn't been able to find a ton of impact with it yet, but that's mostly because he just hasn't really gone to where he is. I mean, last round, obviously, the shot from Joko is just ridiculous. Yeah. They go aggressive into playground. The flash is good. Ooh, and does he clear him? Krad, he's in this advanced position. They're oh. looking for it, but he doesn't. He actually does get the one. So it is the trade immediately back from exercise. They're expecting the aggression here. Oh, and he misses. Elian. A crucial miss for Elian as exercise finds him. Second kill of the round for him. And the op that they brought into this one. We were hyping it up. We were saying Elian needs to be big here. Needs to have impact with his op. And he just misses the crucial shot. And that could be the shot that takes them out of this game and out of major qualification. Oh my, this is an elimination best of three. And with Elian being alienated like that towards middle, the chance of Entropic bringing the map back might have just slipped through their fingertips. Heat could be on for the 2-0 and could keep their run alive here at the PGL RMR. Nades out into the B side. Lackey, he's gonna wrap his way back round on short, has support of his teammate with a UMP. 
The AKs are watching it. Joko, he has been heavy handed. And again, he chops his way oh, through the first. Oh, oh, oh. Lucky with a follow up. A nickel back, the last to fall as match point is taken by the French Heat. And what a game from Joko. It just has to keep being said. Exercise, of course, was the man who found three into that round. But Joko is just so immense. This win, this miss from Ellie in here, that could that is the difference between them giving up match point or not, right? That is it right there. That is the moment in the round where you need your opera, your star player to save you and land the big shot, and he just couldn't do it. It just didn't happen. If he was able to stay alive, potentially even fall back, maybe get a second frag into the round, so much more could have occurred. Instead, he, all they need is one round. Oh, Afro starts it off. Forrester with a 5-7. He's going to sprint back out and cause a little bit of commotion. Tries to take down two, but they just tuck in towards Connector. They flash over. Nickelback runs in to try and bail out his brother. As he will fire off the shots on a Deagle. Forrester stops Lucky. And suddenly, this has fallen into a four versus three with a tease sprinting up, charging into the A site. Yeah, yeah they're going to know that the A site's weak just because of how oh. much presence was shown over at B. The aggression in water, the smokes are in, the kill goes the way of exercise, and they don't have a kit. So they want to retake this fast. They don't want to let them get set up in the post plants. Exercise playing on the close angle, ready for push to come to shove, and he wants to strike against them. Headshot onto Crack. Oh, Good night, oh. Forrester. Nickel back, won't have a back as Afro blows him away, and he take the 2 0 to stay alive in the EU RMR. And what a game for he. What a performance from Joko. We said he needed to step up. Afro in the first map, huge with 29 kills, and this time it.